what am I gonna do with all these leftovers? I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an amazing turkey pot pie with all of these leftovers covered with a phyllo dough and individual trays. Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give us a like. So today I'm gonna to take the leftover turkey. As you see here, I've got turkey, gravy, turkey, uh, a blend of carrots and turnip, some stuffing, mashed potatoes. I'm even gonna throw in some frozen peas. Gonna throw them all into this cast iron pot. Gonna get it warmed up on the stove and make a nice little mixture and then we're gonna dish them out into those individual trays. So let's do it. If you're like me, I hate wasting food. And when you make a big turkey dinner, it's a lot of food, usually with a lot of leftovers. So if you don't wanna eat them for three or four days and you don't wanna throw them out, this is an amazing way to put everything together, make these turkey pot pies and then I freeze them. Take them out for my kids on a school night when the, you know things are chaotic, it's awesome. So basically just gonna start, it's gonna look funny in the beginning, but I'm gonna start out by throwing in everything into this one pot. So we got stuffing, we got mashed potatoes, we got this uh, turnip and carrot blend that, that I made. I got a ton of turkey. I'm gonna throw in about a cup and a half of frozen peas. And then I'm gonna throw in my leftover turkey gravy. So, it kind of looks funny right now having all of this stuff all into one pot, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna slowly, slowly warm this up on the stove and get a nice kind of almost like a gravy mixture and that's what we're gonna spoon into our trays. So I've got about a quarter, roughly quarter to half a cup of warm water here that I'm just gonna add to my mixture. I'll probably do half and I'll just slowly start to sort of mix this around. I've got my oven preheating at 375. So once I'm happy with my mixture here, and I'll lay out my trays, then we'll cover them with the phyllo dough, give them an egg wash, and throw them in, essentially just to bake that phyllo dough to give that nice crust. Oven's at 375, and I've got eight of these trays laid out here. My mixture's at a nice consistency. I've got this phyllo dough. Pie crust will work as well, but we're gonna take the easy road here today in the average kitchen. So I'm literally just gonna start ladling some of this stuff out of our mixture into these pot pies. And again, they don't have to be all exactly the same, but you wanna roughly get them to the same level. So as mentioned before, your uh, pot pie, everything here is all already cooked. It's just what you just wanna cook your phyllo dough. So I'm gonna guess 375, 20 minutes roughly, we'll see how it looks. It's basically just to make sure that that phyllo dough gets cooked through. We're also gonna give it a bit of an egg wash as well, which I think will give us a little bit of richness to that uh, topper and uh, give it some nice color. So we're getting right down to the end here. So obviously the guess of eight was pretty good. So let me grab that spatula I had and uh, we'll just clean up this pot so we don't waste anything. So this is the third part of this series on this turkey that uh, I decided to do. And, and part of what I want to do is obviously share uh, some really, really good ideas for what you could do with the turkey after your turkey dinner's done. But I also wanted to show that for a $20 turkey in this case here, um, roughly 18 pounds, you had a huge turkey dinner, then obviously you saw the last episode, did an amazing turkey soup, and now making eight turkey pies. So really, when you think about that money that you spent on buying that turkey, you can really make it go really, really far. So just unrolled my phyllo dough. It's still a little bit cold. Obviously it was in the fridge, but um, so I'm gonna use this as a rough estimate or a rough measure, but I definitely wanna give myself enough space so that we have some overlap here as well. So I used um, one of the uh, extra tins that I had and I'm basically gonna just gently lay that over the side. So I'll do that for now and I may have to trim that up a little bit, but that's okay as well. So the phyllo dough is over top of our pot pies here. What I'm gonna do now is I just uh, I beat an egg and I'm just gonna give it a quick egg wash. And like I said, that's just gonna give it a little bit of depth of flavor, 
but it's also mostly going to give us a beautiful, beautiful color on those uh, crusts. And I'm going to use a knife and just going to cut a little slit in the top, roughly in the middle, just to let some of the steam escape while these are cooking as well. So these metal trays, um, they say they're disposable, but we actually wash them and reuse them. And uh, they seem to last a long time, so they're great. All right, egg wash is looking good. So the phyllo dough itself can be a little bit temperamental. It obviously normally stays in the fridge. You want to get it out at not quite room temperature, still cold enough that it's pliable, but not too soft that it's impossible to work with. So there's that fine balance. Um, but it definitely uh, has its challenges. So you can see it's already getting warm. And that would be probably as a result of our mixture that's inside. Again, these slits that I'm doing here, they don't have to be perfect. I am by no means a pastry chef, but gets the job done. So we're gonna throw those in the oven, 375, roughly 20 minutes, and then we'll come back. So it took 30 minutes, 30 minutes at 375 in my oven. What I suggest is that you just throw them in and keep an eye on them after 20 minutes because your oven may be stronger than mine, but it took me 30 minutes. So there you have turkey pot pies, beautiful, crispy, light flaky phyllo dough. Beautiful, beautiful meal. The kids love them. Leave a comment, let me know, did you make them? Did they turn out amazing? Did your kids love them? Did you, did you love them? I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to The Average Kitchen. We'll see you on the next one. Turkey pot pies with a phyllo dough. I'm gonna start that again. Sure.